Alright guys, I'm back. Last time I did Vince and Russell and now I'm gonna do Wyatt, sure. Sure, let's do Wyatt. Oh my god. Wyatt, 41 days in. God, this is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Oh, wow. Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man, shoot! Give me Get the gun. Him, man. Jesus, man. Jesus. Oh my god, it's so hard. Holy shit, man, did you get up? Are they back there? Wyatt? Dude, are they there or not? Come on! Wyatt talk words at me, man! I don't see anything. Are you sure? Those guys wouldn't just give so up. I don't see anything. Here, I'll turn off. Bro, what? Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything. Man. Oh shit! I should watch out for cows. Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please. This road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no! Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. <laughs> I don't want that guy in my life. Gorked. What if there's something Dude, in the road? Doesn't matter. We gotta get the fuck away from those guys. They are A-grade fucking mental. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. Chill, homie. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. Uh think we're in the clear. Not till we get out of this fog. Is that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Why is it that you never had a girlfriend again? Oh, right. Forgot there was more than one reason. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. What is it? I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with a girl, right? Abigail. You remember her? She told me that she was five, I think. Her dad took her to the circus sideshow. They walked around for a while. Saw the chick with two heads. Saw a dude with lobster hands. Some kind of monkey human. I don't care about this story. She also said At there was all. a little girl in there the size of an apple. Stop but I called bullshit on now. that. The point is, she saw there was this guy standing in there, buck naked, and singing this weird... Are you even listening to me? The guy peed on her dad. Shit! Oh! Oh shoot. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... 
And the fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. I think it... I think he was alive. Oh, shoot. Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll, like, tell us one way or the other. That way, we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. Can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh? Or Does rotten? that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. What's that way out in the road? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. Man, huh. I'm really not seeing anything. Man, don't look at yourself. This is serious. It wasn't. Whatever, man. Keep looking. What did you want me to look for? Look. Wyatt. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't pay for sex drunk, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. Go out there and what? Find the guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here, though, in case. Huh. Okay. Well. Shit. Okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Shit. All right, all right. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Oh, wow. Shit. Stupid rock. <laughs> Looks like it's me. Anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Eddie, you see something? Hurry up, man! Dude, leave me the fuck alone, all right? This is my speed. Here, in case we need to get out of here quick. Way to go, idiot! Hey, Wyatt, I ate paint when I was a kid. Die! Shit, where the hell do they go? This is the smallest hoopty in the world. <laughs> yeah, turn that drunk on. Are you All right. a piece of shit. Why didn't he just leave them the ignition? Oh shit! Ah! Come here, you little bastard! Ah! Close it. Dang, man, hop off! Ah, son of a bitch!
two. Did I have an option to leave him? That's that was okay. That was that was his entire story. All right, uh, I'll do shell next, I guess. <sighs> All right. The shadows are kind of glitching out. How many days in is she? Wait. Did it say? Oh, I, th I guess I missed it. Oh no, two hundred thirty-six days in. Michelle, Jesus. your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I don't know. I know it's changed me, well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. Nick is a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen. Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Pekka, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe, that's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Huh. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, yeah. let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh, no, I don't think so. You just make sure those flashlights are all working. We don't want anyone getting stuck in the dark. Yeah, that would suck. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. All right. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. All right. Want... What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you going to find out? Yeah, in a sec. Bruh, chill. I'm the diner just... looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Okay. Here we go. Scared me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. The watchdogs. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. 
Okay. Hmm. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Yum. Dang, bro. Yo, what you nomin on, homie? Oh, God. God. <sighs> what is it eating? Ugh. Oh, wait. Yo, it's the freaking... <sighs> the grandma or whatever that got shot. Where's the grandpa at? Um, okay. Oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yum. Yeah. I guess it just got to me, you know? It was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah, I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and, and now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Clive. Yeah, Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Bro, she looks like, an, like a goth girl from like 2010. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. If so, care we were. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know, and I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him, and they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food. And let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances. It's about ours. What's to stop him from coming back? And armed next time? We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boyd, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he he gonna can't help? even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. We can find a way for him to help. Dude, <sighs> well, I don't. not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree, and then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Oh, Vernon what? The boat are the reason the group oh, these are off. the people not from the freaking. Strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time, and the second they Those left are the boat old people from stole it. the freaking That's dinghy. When our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. 
We all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either oh. let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. Bruh. We are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. Killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? I ain't killing him. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Freaking old... Looks like freaking cut him free. Sid the sloth. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do Give him some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith, and get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this: you came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Jeez, man. Homies need to chill. Alright, I'm gonna guess that's the end of... Oh, no. 259 days in. Why is her so long? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Wait. Yep. I don't understand. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Oh, anyway, Boyd Roman's died. He's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. And he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. Open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not good though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Oh my god. Oh, I don't care about any of this stuff. I'm literally going to just talk to Roman. Oh, wow. Are there people in this thing? Roman? Good, you're here. What's this all about? Stephanie. What happened? Caught her trying to escape. 
Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. Mm. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. <sighs> Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Bro, this little girl needs to calm down. She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. The gun's over there in the drawer. Bruv, this is freaking messed up. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Dude, that's so messed up. Like, you, you're not allowed to leave a group. That's fucking stupid. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. That does. Shell, it's time. Ah. Uh. We gotta do this now. No, I'm driving away. I'm not gonna shoot you. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell, be safe. Oh, oh, I ain't killing her. That's messed up. All she did was try to escape. Alright, I got one more. Bonnie. Let's do it. That one... That, that one was freaking long. It felt like... That one felt really long, dude. Holy crap. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You are so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? 220 days in. Nice. 
I swear, this is the worst one ever. You know the rules, miss. Gotta answer. Well? I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Lobster claws. Weirdo. Think of all the crazy stuff you could grab. All I'm saying is, good luck finding a man if you have lobster hands. Good thing I'm not looking for one, then. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Mm -hmm. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Well, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. This guy's I'm voice... Wrong. What I mean is... Make... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. You know, you're not perfect either, Mr. Lobster Hands. Maybe I should spend a minute listing off your flaws. See how you like it. Me? I ain't perfect. That's right. And you're older than dirt. Look, as long as you stay off that stuff, you can have all the flaws you want. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland, thank you. Bonnie, uh... Leland? Bonnie? Dee. Hey, honey. Whoa. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, um, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters. Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I Man, got you he's a trying to cheat oh, on his girl. You shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we gotta get moving. So, where'd you get the bag, B? B? B, did you hear me? Let's keep moving. I feel like I've been in a washing machine all day. I'd kill for a towel right now. Or a blow dryer. Yes, good lord, deliver us a blow dryer. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon, you like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Wait. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bad. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Did you steal it? What? D, Bonnie's right. If, if you stole that bag, we need to know. You don't gotta make no big deal out of it. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. <laughs> all right. Can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go, every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. You but you get are the one now. who made me stop. It's, it's Irregardless, dark. we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing in this goddamn hey, rain in this, this come goddamn on. middle of nowhere you place. Did that on you listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening not to you. To blaspheme. I can't believe you asked. Oh, forget the both of you. I'm leaving. Don't leave, please. We can sort this out. Oh, Lord, give me strength. We'll straighten this out. We will. Oh, my right, God. We, we can solve this out. We just need to get somewhere else. Oh, now you agree with me. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling! D, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. D, now's not the time. 
Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Well, come on now, D. No reason to pick a fight. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Wait up, y'all! <laughs> y'all. I'm falling back here! <laughs> oh, shoot. I got shot. My arms just flopping around. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, what? It's that cop with the thing in his eyeball. Uh. Run. Hey, Layla. Through here, look. Oh shit. Hey! Ah! Oh shit. You see anything? Come on, Bobby. Come on. Shit. Where are you? Dad, I just you see something? Can I just keep jumping side to side? How big is this cornfield, homie? Well, I think I'm supposed to be going straight and not sideways. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Bro, it's the it's literally the people from from uh that were camped out at that gas station. <laughs> Mama, watch over me. Okay, Bonnie, stay calm. Find a weapon. Press and hold X to grab. What uh. is that's so weird? Uh. Shoot, yo, who did I just hit? B B Bonnie. I didn't know it was you. How was I supposed to know it was you? Mm. There, there was no... Mm. I thought I... Mm. saw you. <laughs> you... You did this. Uh, oh, you killed me. You, you killed me. Mm. Anybody see anything? I should it's never... Trusted you. Just, just a junkie. Believe it. She, she did this to me. I, I didn't Bruh. mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I've seen him look 
needed you. I... I... No, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You... Bitch. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't... Thank you. Had the stones. Dee, I would never... I swear, this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. Oh. Dee, Dee, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? Dee, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, Dee. Darling, what happened to you? Your face, her face, Bonnie. I had to. I, I thought you what? would... What do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said? It really was an accident, Leyland. It, it really... You did this? You did this to my D? Be moving. You gotta be closing in. She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? There weren't nothing I could have done. It was dark and she she came out of nowhere, Leland. Jesus. I, I believe you, but oh God. Back this way! Oh, I no! Feel sick. You're going! Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you this see way. Him. can't stay here forever. Bro, what is happening right now? Oh, he's gonna throw up. Alright, now nah, he's good. It went this way! She's gone. We can't take her with us. If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Well, see ya, D. Bro, there's no way. Bro, I didn't even get to see what was in the bag. 400 days in. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Round five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. <laughs> this freaking gas station, man. So good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish, Wish me luck. luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. All right. Don't force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. We should probably split up into two parties. Got it. Hey, don't you? Vince. Don't fucking move. Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. Oh my god, they're freaking mowing outside my house. It's north. so loud. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. 
Ah, oh, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people. Plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. I'm not lying to you. How do we know that? You don't. You don't have to come, but we'd be happy to have you. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, raccoons. why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long. And seen oh my so god. Much bullshit. Russell, just raise your hand. Is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. It's a safe place for everyone. Criminal activity isn't tolerated within our walls, period. You don't have to worry about bandits or walkers or anyone else. We look out for each other. Is that clear? Yeah, clear. I don't know. I don't really believe in safe places. Not anymore. I know it's hard, but this is your only chance. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. Jesus Christ, whose foot did you shoot off? You and 30% player shot Denny's foot off. Did you stay in the car? Get out. You and 50% player stay in the car. Did you leave or stand? You and 70% left Nate. 
Did you like Leland? 25% players are honest. Wow. Did you leave in the RV or kill Stephanie? You and 75 players left in the RV. Okay. Left with Tavia. Oh my god, that lawnmower is so loud. Bro, he stayed by himself? Dude, Russell's stupid. Alright, that, that was the end of 400 days, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of boring. I don't know. I didn't really like it too much. I mean, it was cool how you could see everyone's, like, backstory before they all met. But, yeah. And the next one, I'll be starting Season 2, finally. Uh, but yeah, see ya.